birthday to you. Happy birthday to you. Happy 90th birthday. I cannot even believe you're 90. That is incredible. Um, so what I admire about your mama is your strength, your incredible walking. You're in a walking encyclopedia. Your brain is amazing. Your knowledge of history, um, the memories that you still hold, that you still can talk about at 90 years old is incredible. Um, your love of music, your voice, um, your piano playing, um, your love for Joni. Um, those are some of the things that I admire about you. Also, um, some memories that I hold dear to my heart. Um, Michael and his orchestra, um, the Greek festivals, um, watching you up there, um, entertaining so many people, Greek dancing, coming to my school. Yes, it was embarrassing, but I do have great memories of um, you, your passion for Greek dance and music and um, the Homewood Flossmore choir and how you went and taught them how to sing in Greek for their Greek, their trip to Greece. That was incredible. Um, the night that we went to the gay cabaret, I will not talk about the details, but that was incredible. Um, the fact that you and dad um, hosted Greek Easter for my friends um, in Seattle and Chicago, that's um, those memories I will hold dear to my heart forever. Um, your 80th birthday, that was incredible. Um, you surprised me so much on that day and what you did and your organization of um, parties and um, pretty amazing. Anyway, Joni and I wanted to give you something special for your birthday in lieu of being able to meet in person with people or to celebrate in person with people. So I hope you enjoy this gift and um, cannot wait to celebrate and show you. I love you so much. And happy 90th. Mwah. Hey, I'm so happy to be able to do this in honor of your 90th. And uh, I have a lot of, a few nice things to say. You know, I'm a woman of few words. I'll let everyone else add all sorts of good things, and they certainly will if they haven't already. But I have here in my hands an English blessing which I've held on to for a while, and I would like to read it to you because I think it's very appropriate. May happiness be at your door. May it knock early, stay late, and leave the gift of good fortune behind. I love you very much, and I'm very proud to be your sister, and I have an important question to ask you. When are we going to play Royal Rummy? <laughs> So you have a good one, and we'll be talking soon, okay? Take care. Happy birthday to you. Happy birthday to you. Happy birthday to you, Ilma. May the good Lord bless you, Ilma. And keep you healthy, Ilma. Happy birthday to you, Ilma. Happy birthday, Coyote. Happy birthday, Coyote. We love you. From Lopez. Woohoo, friends of Valerie. Kind, funny woman. Love you, love you. Happy 90th birthday, Coyote. Welcome to the 90 year club. Yes, and. Uh, we, wel we both welcome you, of course, to the 90th birthday club. And uh, it's nice to that you had us uh, say words about you and your family. Uh, I 
remember, of course, when we were little, uh, we would sleep at each other's homes and uh, we were always thrilled. And then I remember one year, it was New Year's Eve, and we had a party at, at our house. And mom and dad, and your mom and dad, and uh, the other cousins that we had, and they would dance, they were dancers. So uh, I, we had a chandelier in our living room. So when your dad, Dilanida, and Faye's father, Theostelio, would dance, they would tip the edge of the, uh, chandelier. Of the chandelier. chandelier. And we were afraid that it would break, but they didn't care. But they knew what they were doing though. And they would shake the chandelier and it would go back and forth. In the meantime, we were, it was you, Calliope, Faye, and me, and I think it was Artie. Uh, the men then uh, wore their coats and their hats, and they would put them on in my mother's bedroom on the bed. So while they were dancing and having a good time, uh, we were having a good time by jumping up and down the bed and on top of their hats <laughs> and making sure that they really were down. And we just jumped all night on the beds. And that was a good memory we had uh, with Calliope. And of course, when we grew up, we went to a, uh, it was a, uh, what was it? Um, we went to a, we went to where they had cowboys and uh, a ranch and uh, a ranch, and uh, we had a wonderful time. We learned how to play, how to uh, ride a horse, and uh, it was wonderful. We had a good time at that ranch. And uh, there's so many other memories that we have. And of course, Kalopi's mother and father, your mother and father, Kalopi, uh, I'll have Tom tell you. And uh, uh, your mother was great and so was your father, Kalopi. So, and Tom, you could say about what you wanted to say about the Theo Leoniego. Tom. Mm -hmm. Are you ready? Yeah. Mm -hmm. I will continue where where Dolly left off. Theo mm -hmm. Leonida, your your father and my father were very close friends. They only separated when my father settled in New York and your father settled in Chicago. And when I when I saw him for almost the first time or second time was when he came to New York for my father's funeral, which he attended, and we were happy to see him and meet him and have him present there. Later on, when I visited Chicago, I made a, a lot of visits with your dad. And we certainly enjoyed our friendship and relationship. That's it for me. You know, and then uh, in Greece, when we went to Greece, uh, we met someone who was your relative. I don't recall right now, it was, um, it was Thessaloniki, but up in a nice, a nice area. We met the couple, we were friends or relatives, and uh, one of them was a, a Jikas. And I remember telling you, Kalopi, you were surprised that you had a relative in Thessaloniki. So, but anyhow, so beyond that, we had a wonderful time, especially with Faye and you and me. We went to New York, we had a wonderful time. 
went to this ranch. We stayed at each other's houses. We always visited the, our birthdays and we were very close. And then of course, growing up, getting married, children, we didn't see each other that much, but we keep in touch all the time. So, and it was a good, good relationship, Kalyapi and Watch what we never forget. And we like your singing, you have a beautiful voice and we were proud of you when uh, they, they put you in the newspaper as being head of the, of the choir, the church choir. Syndicals. And uh, many other things, Kalyopi. Okay? All right. Bye-bye, sweetheart. Good talking to you. Hi, Thea Kay. Hey, hey, how you doing? Happy birthday. Happy birthday, Thea Kay. We are so happy to be included in your 90th birthday. 90. Wow. Can't believe it. Can't believe it. Um, it's, we've come a long way from being by the Lamex restaurant. We've come a long way from being across the street from Oliver Wendell Holmes grade school. Uh, and all of us living in the same apartment building. We've come a long way from Marston Lane, from you having me and all my brothers and sisters staying at your house and your, your kids over at our house and us spending all the holidays together. Um, we are really happy and want to celebrate your birthday in the best way we can. And as we thought about it, the best way we can celebrate your birthday is this way. Oh, you can kiss me on a Monday, a Monday, a Monday, and very, very good. Or you can kiss me on a Tuesday, a Tuesday, a Tuesday, in fact, I wish you would. Or you can kiss me on a Wednesday, a Thursday, a Friday, and Saturday is best. Oh yeah! And never, never on a Sunday, a Sunday, a Sunday, cause that's my day of rest. Most any day, you can be my guest. Any day you say. But my day of rest, just name the day that you like the best. Only stay away on my day of rest. Oh, we're going more. A cool day, a hot day, a wet day with anyone you choose. Or try to kiss me on a gray day, a May day, a payday, and see if I refuse. And if you make it on a bleak day, a freak day, a week day, why you can't be my guest. But never, never on a Sunday, a Sunday, a Sunday, cause that's my day of rest. Well, here we have it. There you go, Thea Kay. Your favorite song. On your 90th birthday, from Beth and I, we love you very much. We hope you have a great day. We hope the video turns out. Happy birthday, sweetie. Mwah. Hi, Kay. How are you? Happy birthday. Um, we were trying to think of something we could put together that really reminded us of you. And what, what we kind of came up with was Doa Deer. Ready, Mia? Hit yeah. it off. Table Farm, 1969. Doa Deer. A female deer. Ray, a jump will go to the side. Me, a name I call myself. Bah, a long, long way to run. So, a needle folding thread. La, a note to follow so. Tea, a drink with, with jam and bread. That, that will bring us back to dying. So, la, tea, da. We're not so good at that. We're going to get that out. Hope you have a wonderful birthday. Birthday. Happy birthday, Happy birthday, Kay. I'm here at the Kennedy Center because what I admire most about you is your talent. Right over here is the Opera House. So I follow us to the Opera House. I'm very excited that the Phillips have invited me to celebrate your birthday, Kay. Happy birthday. And um, I've learned so much about Greek culture, 
Greek food, Greek history, and admire your talent. That's why I'm here at the Kennedy Center. Um, what I've learned about, and, uh, what was the other question? Shoot. What do you most admire? I did said that part. There was the second part. And what is your fondest memory? My fondest memory is Greek Easter dinner. I've spent several times celebrating Greek Easter with the Phillips, and that's my fondest memory. It's always celebrating Greek Easter, going to Greek Easter celebrations, and having Greek Easter dinner. Right over here is the Opera House cake. Happy birthday. Hey, okay. What we most admire about you is your positive attitude, and you're always ready for the party, like never on Sunday. I remember, Kay, what I remember most about you and really admire uh, was what a quick learner you were when I was uh, teaching you how to cook Greek food. Uh, you always seemed to pay attention and catch on quick. And you really, you really are a wonderful person. We think the world of you. We love being in Greece with you. Even though walking around Greece with a coffee pot and pouring it into strangers' cups, a little bit, a little bit odd, but um, just know that we miss you. We wish you the best. And happy birthday. Happy birthday. Hi, Kay. Just wanted to wish you a happy birthday and many, many more. And God bless you. And my favorite memory of you and Manello are the festivals that we had in Olympia Fields. You are always the greatest person to work with. And I've enjoyed knowing you so many years from now. So God bless you and happy birthday. Mrs. Phillips, I wish you the best. Um, you got your awesome festivals. We're definitely some of the best ways growing up and um, having all those memories that we had with those. It's unfortunate that our kids aren't gonna have them the same way we did, but you were definitely a pivotal part in those wonderful festivals. So I wish you the best, stay healthy and happy birthday. And just wanna say one more thing about my face because I <laughs> fell on a step a week ago yesterday and it was much more black and blue. So it's definitely getting better. Just in case you're wondering what in the world <laughs> happened. I wasn't in a, I wasn't in a prize fight. <laughs> All so, right, happy birthday. Bye bye, Kay. to see you once we come back to Chicago. Five golden rings! Four calling birds, three Frenchens, two turtle doves, and a partridge in a fair tree. We love you. Happy birthday. Happy birthday. Yeah. Happy 90th birthday, PK. So, so blessed to have you in my life. Thank you so much for being there for showing me what a strong woman is, for teaching me the history of our family and continuing to share your joy and your memories with us. Everyone probably already said this, but the AK is Winter Wonderland. Highlight of my year. I'm not kidding. I'm not kidding. Every time we come to Chicago, I'm like, all right, when is it the 24th of December? When can we go to the AKs? And nine times out of ten, it's in the summer, which, you know, no the okay winter wonderland, I understand. But it's just been such a big part of my life growing up. Um, and I look forward to going to another one soon. Um, keep the tradition alive. 
Um, but again, happy birthday. Happy 90th. You did it, queen. Yes, we love that. All right. Love you. Have a good one. Sagapo. Hi, Calliope. Happy 90th birthday. Well, it seems like it was just yesterday that we celebrated your 80th birthday, the Magianos. It was such a nice party. I know this year is different. Uh, what can I say about you, Calliope? Well, uh, when I joined the Assumption Church 50 years ago, you were one of the first people that I met and I admire you for your outstanding personality and how positive and happy you made all of us. Nick loved working with you at the festivals and I always enjoyed working with you with all our Pilotos affairs. But I think what always is going to stay in my mind is our membership brunches at the country club uh, and you organizing the 12 days of Christmas. And it was so much fun. If I can find a video, I'll try to upload that too. Gallobi, hopefully after COVID is over, we can get together and celebrate your birthday in person. Love you. Have a wonderful day. And I will try to, when we're baking this week, if I can get some more of the Philoptokos ladies to wish you a happy birthday. Love you, Kayobi. And the other thing, I think I'm the only one who calls you on your name day. And the reason is that I always remember because it's my daughter Poppy's name day too. Okay, Kalyopi, have a wonderful 90th birthday. Love you. Hi, Nuna. It's Grisula. It's been a few years now since I've seen you, since my mom's birthday. And I apologize for that. But I am wishing you a very, very happy birthday. 90 years. Wow. Many, many more. I still remember the day that on my wedding you took us and started Greek dancing. And all the times that we had at Chuck Cavallini's were the best for me. Of course, I could do whatever I wanted without my mother around. But anyways, <laughs> um, I still can't do that. Uh, I just wanted to say I love you very much and I will get in touch with you. Um, my mother is also wishing you a very, very happy birthday. And I hope to see you soon. I love you, Nuna. Hey, happy, 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 happy birthday! birthday. Kelly Opie! Kay! Kay! <laughs> we have been so fortunate and had the luxury of being a part of your extended family and having time with you and the memories are so long we don't have time in this video to tell you right but two things right that come out is at Chris and Joni's wedding of course yeah and the singing and the kicking and the <laughs> celebration and of course Tripoli yes Tripoli. Tripoli yeah yeah so we just wanted to leave this voicemail and video for you to wish you the best happy, happy, happy birthday ever. Yeah. We love you to pieces. Okay. Right. We Stay just healthy. Do. Stay healthy. Stay well. And we hope to see you and soon. And know we're celebrating with you. That's right. Okay. We'll hope to see you soon. And that's Sydney. And this is Sydney. Yeah. She's saying high five with the paw. <laughs> <laughs> happy okay. birthday. Happy birthday. Hi, everyone. Hi, PK. Um, this is Lou Manta, your favorite nephew. Let's see, the things that I admire the most are your strength, your beauty, and of course your voice. The thing that my favorite memory is, I don't know, a hundred memories, but I would say that my favorite part about being around you and knowing you is how you make me feel inside. Always welcome, always warm always loved um and that's a gift i'll never forget so happy birthday and love you okay it's happening 
go. Happy birthday to you. Happy birthday to you. Happy birthday, dear Yaya. Happy birthday to you. Happy 90th. We miss your singing and your great piano playing. Yay. <laughs> Happy birthday, Yaya. Miss you. Love you. Yay. <laughs> okay. Happy 90th birthday such a milestone you've reached in your life. I'm wishing you a happy, healthy, um, prosperous, carefree 90th birthday to you. Um, I want to tell you, Aunt Kay, a few things and one of them is the impact that you've had on my life. And even though that you're not my real aunt, you have always been part of our family. And um, we have celebrated holidays together and birthdays together and have spent as much time with you as we have our, our, our family. I'd like to tell you some of the things that you've done that I will never forget. Number one, you always have a good story to tell. And I am always amazed by your memory and attention to detail. Um, your stories are intriguing and interesting. So keep eating your blueberries because they're working because it's amazing what you remember. <laughs> um, you have also taught us, me, my children, my family, how important our Greek heritage is and um, the way you embrace the Greek heritage and when we're gathering for dinner um, at Easter time, you'll be the first one to start the prayer or the Christos Anesti at Easter time. And these are all really important things and I thank you for that because sometimes as parents we forget ourselves and because we're all caught up in the day, but I'm glad we had someone like you to help remind us what is most important when you are with family. Also, NK, I will always remember all of the Christmas Eve spent at your home in Flossmoor and how fun it was to see all of your family and the kids, friends we met through all of those interactions and what good friends and I became with your children because of all of those interactions and I just love all of you guys so much. So thank you for, for sharing those moments with us. Some of my favorite memories of you in particular would be any given point in time when you were singing Never On Sunday. One of my most favorite and treasured uh, Greek songs and you used to nail it every single time. Um, I also remember times when you had your Greek costume on and we might be at Cavallini's, um, which also holds a ton of wonderful memories um, for all of us, I know. Um, I'm so glad that we have some pictures still from Cavallini's that we can look back at every once in a while because that was a, a really special time for all of us. All in all, Ann Kay, I am wishing you that the rest of your days are spent enjoying things that you love to do and that your 90th birthday is just a reminder and a reflection of how special you are to me and to everyone else. I love you so much. Happy 90th birthday and enjoy your day. Happy birthday, Thea Kay. Wishing you a very happy 90th birthday with many more years filled with health and happiness. I just wanted to let you know that I always found your voice amazing. You have such a beautiful voice and I love the way you sang throughout the years, especially to Never On Sunday. Um, it just always reminded me of you. And I loved hearing the details of your stories when you ever came back from one of your trips. 
so with that, I we all want to just wish you a very happy birthday and filled with love and joy and um, we miss you and hope to see you soon and happy birthday happy, happy birthday. birthday hi Kay happy birthday happy 90th birthday wow uh, I just wanted to uh, we're doing this separate because I got to go to work when they're gonna get everybody together tonight so uh, you'll probably get two of them from us hopefully uh, I just want to wish you a happy 90th, and uh, what I admire most about you is you always have, have class and carry yourself so well. And we're very, very, uh, how can I say it, um, uh, just just a beautiful person. Um, and always enjoyed talking with you, being with you, and you always seem to enjoy everybody else's company too. One of my favorite memories uh, was, uh, and pardon me if we're being redundant here, but the kids all remembered it too, we were talking about it. It was Christmas, uh, we were all sitting around, uh, it was about, I guess it has to be close, maybe 10 years from ago or so. We were all sitting around uh, singing and you were at the piano, playing the piano, and uh, it was just a fun time. Uh, it was uh, one Christmas Eve. So I uh, want to wish you uh, again a happy, Happy birthday and many more to come, and hopefully we get to see you soon. We miss you. Hi, Kate. It's Jackie saying happy, happy birthday. Uh, I only can hope and pray that I make it to 90. Love you. <laughs> okay. Hi, Kate. Hi, Calliope. Hi, Francesca. How are you? Wishing you a happy, happy birthday and many, many more. Love you. Happy birthday, Kay, and many, many more healthy ones. Happy 90th birthday, Aunt Kay. Your beautiful daughter, Christina, has asked many of us in, to help in putting together this very lovely and thoughtful collaboration of video messages for your 90th birthday. And I was honored to be included. She asked all of us two simple questions. And without further ado, below are my answers. I admire your confidence, standing up for what you believe in, your faith in the church and singing in the choir, your knowledge of Greece and the Greek religion, and how beautifully you played the piano and sang with such confidence. It taught me to not be scared to do anything you want in life. I also have many fond memories of you but my most favorite was when you helped us with the talent show at Tabor Farm, perform the song from the Sound of Music, Do, Re, Mi. With your help, we practiced and practiced getting everything just right. So on the night of the show, we all felt confident and sounded spectacular. Thank you for taking the time to help us with that performance. It meant a lot to me, and I really appreciated your help. Also, I do not want to forget how much fun it was when you taught everyone from my <clears throat> first wedding, Greek dancing, and your help when Joanne and I planned our 25th wedding planned our parents' 25th wedding anniversary. It's the little things that mean so very much that you have done for us. I'm sending you today birthday wishes filled with happiness, brightened by rainbows, and warmed by love. 
Happy 90th birthday, Ann Kay. I love you. Hi, Thea Kay. We all want to wish you a very, very happy birthday. And some of my memories is you playing the piano, us singing Christmas carols. That was really fun. And the one dip you would make for Christmas all the time. Um, it was with the cream cheese and the green onions. Um, I make that now, and we call it the Thea K dip. That was really good, and everybody loves it. But we want to wish you a very, very special birthday. Happy birthday to you. Bye. Hello, hello from the Phillips family in Dyer, Indiana. Uh, happy special day, Yaya. Happy special day, Yaya. Happy 90th, happy 90th special day. Happy 90th special day, Yaya. Yeah, we're so uh, happy and excited for you, and I hope we have you have a, a real nice day. And Luki, when is Yaya's birthday? October 20th. Right, on October 20th. So thinking about you, Mom, through the years and and um, um, what you love to do and you try to teach all of us kids uh, piano and music and a uh, real big supporter and just the love and the passion of the music, we thought we would uh, return the favor and give you some music. So uh, the best guy right here best guy. wants to sing a few songs for Yaya, right? Yeah. Okay, so let's start. Let's start the first song. Okay. Coming up. Coming up. Loading. Any second it's that's loading. You got a friend and me. You got a friend and me. Friend and rolling. Walk my head and mind. This rope in the passage. And you got a friend and me. Yeah, you got a friend and me. You got a friend in me. You got a friend in me. You got trouble. What do you do for you? See it too. Cause you got a friend in me. You got a friend in me. I am strong too. Maybe and it'll be way I do. For me and you boy, this last go by. Friendship and never done. Go see yes done They got friend in me. You got a friend in me. You got a friend in me. Okay. Yeah. Got a friend in me. We're going to play another song. And then? Ready to go? This song is called Reflection from Mulan. And then? The good. Mulan mo uh, movie. And then go by. And then we'll say goodbye afterwards, okay, Luke? You want Star Spangled Banner, please? No, we're gonna do Mulan first. And okay? then? And then we'll do Star Spangled Banner later, okay? Tell Dad. Okay, listen to the music. Gotta record it. Gotta record it. And then bye. Here it goes. Here it goes. Whoops. Hang on. 
Hey, Don. Second. Yeah. School sing the national anthem. Here it is. This is the Mulan song. Sing loud. M. Perrin, story maker from Disney animated storybook Mulan. Yeah. Tell Dad. Record it. St. Anne's Church, soul, manifest, O Lord. Yep. You ready to sing? Uh, Amen. Here it is. Church, music, mass. Hey, go ahead. Look at me. Sing louder. Never louder. Has a perfect bride. Daughter, can it be? As you play this part, like I see, if I were truly and be myself, and the family's heart. Here it goes. Who is I, girl? I see staring straight back at me. Why is my reflection so my I don't know? Somehow I cannot hide who I am. I try where will my passion show who I am inside when will my reflection show who I am inside Okay, Yaya. Yeah, yeah. Okay, Mom. Happy birthday, Happy, yeah, yeah. happy, happy special day. Happy 90th special day. Happy day. We love you. We love you. Bye. Bye-bye. Bye. <laughs> Hi, Kay. This is your cousin Faye speaking to you. Now, first of all, I want to wish you a happy birthday. 90 is a, a great thing to reach. Uh, what do you admire most about Hey, uh, <laughs> There were a lot of things I could have said, but uh, unfortunately, Dolly beat me to it. Uh, everything that I was planning on saying, uh, she mentioned in her comments, uh, particularly all the fun we had when the relatives had their parties and we would try to see how many hats we could smash on the beds with our bodies. <laughs> that was one of my favorites, but she beat me to it. So we had a lot of fun in our time. Uh, we did a lot of fun things. And then unfortunately we moved into different directions of the city, but never lost total uh, focus on what we did. We always talked with each other on birthdays and, and a holiday perhaps. And I remember a time when I was in the hospital and you and Manella came and visited me. And in particular, I remember the wonderful letter you wrote for Nick. So these things all count. And that's why we are so totally related. Anyway, I, uh, I just want to wish you a happy birthday and many more and enjoy your family and all your kids. And I love you, Kay. Take care. Hello. Hello, everybody. Here, make sure my mic is... Hello, everybody. Hey, it's Meg. Um, Meg Mira. I'm calling or making this video in at my sister's cottage farm in Badger Pocket, Ellensburg in central Washington. And... Um, I'm sorry it's nighttime. Uh, I, I'm making this video last minute, but um, everything else is here. My big old heart, my big old memories of everybody. Um, 
BK, I want to thank you for a really big thing is having two of my favorite friends um, that I've ever had is um, first Valerie. Um, I'll always miss her. I love her and I know everybody here feels the same way and she ha will always have a ginormous chunk of my heart and um, yeah. So thank you. She was a brilliant soul and I just, she, when I met her, she quickly came, became one of my big sisters and one of my BFFs. So Valerie, if you're listening, I love and miss you like everybody who's watching this um, Kay's tribute does and so many more. And then, you know, your daughter Chrissy, who um, is another sister of mine and um, who I adore all anytime texting, talking on the phone, hanging out in Chicago, hanging out in the mountains, uh, being in some crazy venue, laughing, literally laughing our asses off together. So, um, and, and her partner, Joni, who I absolutely adore and I love Buddy too. And, um, and then one of my favorite, um, two of my favorite, uh, Memories, Kay, is uh, one is the Baton in Chicago, and um, it's one of my favorite places. And um, and Chrissy would tell me the stories of you going there and singing with everybody and just stealing the show, and all the girls there absolutely loving you. And I too am a ginormous Baton fan. So whenever I go to Chicago, I hightail it there. I hope it's still there, in fact. I, I don't know. I haven't been there in 10 years. But anyway, the baton, yeah. And then the other memory I love is the Greek festival we all went to together that you invited us to um, out in Chicago. And that was so fun. Um, what was that, three years ago? And all the Greeks with all the food and the music and the, I don't know, some painting there that had frankincense and Jesus was was melting and stuff. It's just like everything it was just awesome. It was absolute Greek fun. And I thank you for that so much. And um, yeah, thank you for making Chicago just just way more cozy and fun and loving. And um, I so appreciate that. So everything to you Kay we see you love you your brilliance your humor your life force you're just you're just a force to be reckoned with and um just all the love to you so thanks and Chrissy thanks for asking me to do this it's been a pleasure okay everybody take real good care of yourselves during this absolutely wacko time and um, be good to yourselves and Talk to you all soon in the near COVID future and hope I get to come out to Chicago and hang some more. Okay, lots of love. Bye-bye. Hi, Kelly OB. It's Allison coming to you live from my Monarch Way Station in Lombard, Illinois. And for your birthday, I wanted to show you some pretty flowers. And so I wanted to first show you some beautiful flowers, some dahlias, beautiful flowers and there's not too many beautiful flowers left because it's fall but there's enough that I wanted to share them with you and my most favorite thing about you is your beautiful voice and your beautiful spirit and your beautiful daughter bunny Christina and period Phillips and what my favorite memory is is when we played the piano together at your house in um, gosh, Homewood Flossmore. And uh, it was Flossmore, I think. And we sang together and that was a wonderful memory. So now, as I show you one more flower, a hollyhock, I'm gonna sing to you, happy birthday. Happy birthday to you. Happy birthday to you. Happy birthday, dearest Kelly O.B. Phillips, happy birthday to you. Mwah. I love you to pieces. Be well, and I wish you peace and joy. Go ahead. Hi, Kay. This is Tassie. On this beautiful, beautiful day, I want to wish you a happy 90th birthday. 
I wish that you'll have many, many more healthy birthdays. I love you. So long. Hope to see you soon. Bye. Me now? Hi, Kay. It's my second time telling you happy birthday. I was with the ladies uh, at the church and we all were able to wish you a happy birthday. But again, I hope you're having a beautiful, beautiful day and many, many, many more happy and healthy ones. Love you. Happy, happy birthday, birthday Yaya. Yaya. Hope you're having a wonderful day. Baby Peasy's here. <laughs> they want to wish you a happy birthday. And then, uh, yeah. Hope you have a wonderful day. Bye. Hi, Kay. It's Dorothy McAlarius. I don't know if you recognize with my COVID hair. I just wanted to say happy, happy birthday. Hope you have a great day and wish you many, many more to come. We miss you and hopefully we will see you soon in church again. Take care. Love you. Hello, Kay. This is Keo and I met you so long ago when Angela was just born and um, I have the honor of adding my memories of you onto this wonderful birthday 90th birthday celebration and um, I was asking Christina like wow she looks so good really <laughs> she's 90 Anyways, I um, want to just wish you a, a wonderful continuance of a beautiful life. And um, I remember you, Kay, as just a really warm and love. You were always so warm and loving to me. And um, I know that you love your family so much. And <clears throat> just um, all good just a good warm feeling that I have thinking about you so um, I know that you're gonna have your family around you and I just uh, wish you the very very best that life has to offer and um, I was thinking I wanted to sing you a birthday song that um, maybe Valerie would have sung for you at your 90th birthday so here goes. Happy birthday, Hianayoi. Happy birthday, Hianayoi. Happy birthday to you, Hianayoi. Hey, yo, I know, Hianayoi. Hey, yo, we know, Hianayoi. Hey, yo, I know, Hianayoi. Hey, yo, I know, Hianayoi. Hey, yo, I know, Hianayoi. Happy birthday to you, Iana, Ineowen. May God bless and watch over you, Iana, Yoi. May you have many more to come to you, Iana, Yoi. Hey, Yoi, no, 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 Iana, Yoi. Hey oi no hiana oi Happy birthday to you hiana Hey neo wen Love you surround you with love and happiness and good health all the way over here in El Paso Texas this evening Okay Can you see me can you hear me This is Mark Manta the UK's, I think, youngest nephew. Um, so excited that you are turning 90. That is like super awesome. Um, I think this is a great idea to put some videos together and get a little montage going. Um, super excited to be part of it. Um, Chrissy was talking about a memory of the UK. Um, how can you just pick one memory? I mean, we're talking a lifetime of memories, but if I had to pick 
one, I'm actually going to pick two. One would be the awesome dream bars the AK would make for me um, for my birthday and other occasions. Um, still love them today. Uh, and then also, how could we not mention Christmas Eve at the Phillips household? So much fun, so many memories, probably my favorite tradition in my life. So thank you for that. And again, happy birthday, and we love you. Calliope, you're 90. I don't know how to say it in Greek, but happy birthday, 90. So, let's see. I think one of my favorite memories with you, Kay, and I'm not even sure you know this, is the second time I met you, um, the first time being going to Aurelio's with your family, the second time we went out for breakfast with your family and it was super crowded and we had to wait to sit down and and you looked at me and I, I didn't even know you came and you're like will you just come and sit on my lap and I was just like oh okay uh but I didn't I, I but if you asked me that today I sure as hell would Kate um I really admire your ability to bring everybody together and to be able to tell stories. Um, I cherish when I can listen to your to your stories and um, learn about the, the times at Cavallini's that I missed out on. Um, but at least I have the photos and the memories. Um, I also want to say thank you so much for how you've welcomed me into your family and have always treated me, ooh, treated me like your own daughter and introduce me as such, and that means the world to me, Kay. I really appreciate it, and I love you so much, and I hope that your birthday is so special, and that um, that you enjoy your day, and that you get spoiled rotten, because you deserve it. Um, all right, I love you to, to pieces, Kay, and I um, truly am grateful to be able to celebrate your birthday with you. Love you. Love your favorite daughter-in-law. Ha! Cheryl. Hi, Kay. Happy birthday to you. Happy birthday to you. Happy birthday, dear Kay. Happy birthday to you and many more. Happy birthday, Kay, Nataka Tostisis. Happy birthday, Kay, we love you. We love you. Mwah. We remember you, Kay, I remember you all the way back from 19, oh, what is that, 86? From the county. She's only 29. That's how far back we go when you used to wear your gold shirt and work for the what was it? clerk's office. And then I came to Olympia Fields. And I miss your beautiful voice in the choir and your choir directing. We love you, Kay. We really do. So happy birthday. God bless you with many more years. We love you. Love you. Mwah. Bye.